I doing? Look, I actually did something to myself, well, with my face and hair today. So girl, don't adjust your camera. Um, I actually put down some of my hair. My hair has been in these twists. I tried to stretch it, girl, for like two weeks, but I couldn't do it. After a while, I was like, yeah, we're gonna have to go ahead and take this hair down. So um, I'm gonna try to record a couple of videos today, which is why I got I got all dolled up for y'all. So, all right, girl, I poured myself a glass of wine and we are going to go into part two. Uh, girl, what? Y'all, I'm looking at this thing, just, just a uh, uh, newscast highlight just came across my screen. I have a laptop up in front of me. Mass orgy with 100 people raided by police. That's nasty. First of all, we in the middle of a damn pandemic. First, uh, third, uh, second and third of all, that's nasty as hell, y'all. So let me get into this wine. So I'm drinking red wine. Um, yeah, girl. All right, you guys. So part two of Grey Skies. We started off with Kendra and her husband, Lamont. I gave y'all an extensive background because I think that's important when giving these stories. And so they were looking to hire an extra hand on their form they moved to oklahoma from chicago and they need some extra help kendra is pregnant she's in her second trimester she's about 16 18 weeks and so they're going to need some extra help you know unpacking they still have a couple of items they need to unpack um for this farmhouse because it sits on one acres of land also not a lot but again kendra is pregnant high risk pregnancy too so they need some let me help them out a little bit, right? So, if y'all remember in part one, Kendra was making her way around the grocery store and her country butt, <laughs> she ain't country, her city tail butt ran into old boy from Queen Sugar, Kofi. <laughs> Byron, Mr. Byron. Now, at the time, she doesn't know his name. So, we're going to cut to part two. Again, she comes downstairs because she can hear her husband speaking to someone and she assumes it's the man that she's that he's hired to help around at the house. So he, you know, her husband Lamont is like, yes, you know, I want to go ahead and introduce you to my wife. Um, Kendra, this is Byron. Byron, this is Byron, this is Kendra. Byron turns around and lo and behold, it's the man that she ran into at the, at the supermarket that she was like, oh, he's fine as hell. I know he's a little young, but still he's fine. And so he sees her, he starts smiling and she's like, oh my God, are you serious? This is Kendra. And her husband is looking, what? And so Byron starts laughing. He said, well, your wife ran into me earlier. She wasn't watching where she was going. And so Lamont's like, yeah, that sounds like her. She's been clumsy as ever now that she's, you know, uh, carrying for two. And so Kendra rolls her eyes. She's like, oh my gosh. She's like, so you're the person that we're hiring? And so Byron said, yes, your aunt. Y'all, what's the aunt's name? She petty as hell. I'm gonna have to go back to part one and remember her name. I do apologize. I will be getting better at this, you guys. So please bear with me. So um, Byron said, yeah, your aunt let me know that, you know, you guys were needing some help. And, you know, right now I'm, I don't have a lot of work going on. So I'll be happy to help y'all around. So um, the baby's doing May. That's right. She's like, yep, that's a good memory. She's, he's like, well, I just saw you this morning. So she's like, yeah, that's right. That's right. So um, Kendra says, well, it was nice to meet you. I got to go ahead and get dinner started. So she goes into the kitchen and Lamont goes ahead and gives Byron a tour of uh, the farmhouse and the house itself and just let him know some things that need to be done now byron is only coming over um three or four days out of the week like i said to help out around the house so they're coming in from outside from doing the tour from outside and kendra is finishing up on dinner and byron's like wow this shit smell good what are you making she's like well i'm just making some spaghetti she's like if you want if you're if you don't have anything planned, you're more than happy to join us. And that's when Lamont chimed. And he said, yeah, man, you know, go ahead and, and have a bite to eat. My wife makes some mean spaghetti. And so Byron, like, he's like, I don't know if I want to intrude. Y'all new to this city. I don't want to intrude on y'all. And that's when um, Lamont said, man, you wouldn't be intruding. You know, you hired. Come on, grab a seat. You know, you, don't want, you want something to drink? You want a beer? And so Byron looked at him and... Kendra kind of gives him a, a side eye. Now Lamont has had an issue with alcohol, hard liquor, and she noticed lately he's been having, you know, a, a couple of um, cans of beer every now and then. So she, that's why she gives him a little side eye. And he's like, all right, man, if you insist, you know, I'll go ahead and uh, let me go wash my hands. You know, can you show me where the bathroom is? Is it down the hallway? 
and that's full of mud. So yeah, down the hallway, first door on your left. So when Byron goes off to go um, wash his hands and clean up, Lamont approached Kendra. He's like, well, what do you think? She's like, well, he seems like a nice guy, you know. Um, how long is he willing to work? Because, you know, we're going to still need help after the baby comes. He's like, well, as long as we need it, he's willing to help us out. And so Kendra's like, oh, that's, that's great. So Kendra, you know, continues to get dinner ready, you know, making her spaghetti. Child, that's what I'm making later on too. So she makes spaghetti and she's making um, a couple of things. And Byron comes in. Now her husband goes upstairs into the office, right? Yeah, see, again, he works from home, by the way, you guys. He works from home. Every now and then he meets clients in the neighboring city. So he, he travels too. Girl like Quentin. Y'all, these, these men traveling away from their fine wives is a problem. So anyway, he travels too for work. So um, Byron is out of the bathroom. And he's like, so do you need any help with anything? And Karen's just a little shocked by that because no, more, normally she does all the cooking. Like Lamont doesn't know how to cook. He, you know, stays at the kitchen. She's like, well, if you want to, you can help me get the salad ready. He's like, well, sure, show me where everything's at. So she's like, well, go ahead and look into the um, refrigerator second shelf. You can see all the vegetables there are already pre-chopped. If you could just put them together in a salad bowl here, that'll help out a lot. So Byron goes into the refrigerator and gets the salad and everything together and starts you know getting everything gathering and that's when Kendra looks over she's like you kind of know your way around the kitchen and so he's like yeah I learned it from my aunt you know and so you know Kendra's like are you guys pretty close he's like yeah my aunt helped to raise me um after my parents died and so Kendra's like wow that's very similar to Lamont's story my husband his aunt also raised him after his parents died and that's when Byron was like, yeah, you know, my aunt was always talking about, um, you know, your, your husband. So I was glad to finally put a face to all the stories I've been hearing. And so Ken just like, stories, hmm, that's interesting. So anyway, they're getting, continuing to do, you know, get dinner ready. And that's when um, Byron comes, that's when Lamont comes downstairs. And he's like, hey man, you want to go ahead and watch the game with me? He's like, yeah, I'm glad you said something. So the two men go into the living room and they start watching the basketball game. And Ken Kendra continues to get all the food ready. Fast forward, it's time for dinner. So they're all sitting down having dinner. Um, Lamont and Byron are having a, a beer. So that's when Byron was like, so why did y'all decide to move from Chicago to Oklahoma? Isn't it born here? And that's when Kendra kind of looked at Lamont because she wants to see what type of story he's gonna tell him. Because again, Lamont is the type of person he used to fabricate, not necessarily fabricate, <laughs> not necessarily fabricate, but he withhold the truth. He always wants himself to be pictured in a good light. So he was very careful with his words, but said that, you know, they were moving to Oklahoma to start over and they wanted to live in a safer environment to grow a family with their child. And they just felt like moving to Oklahoma where he was originally from would be a great start. And so Byron did this, okay, so. So all right, y'all, so fast forward to Byron goes home. Now Byron lives with his aunt, okay? He gets home and his aunt, unfortunately, is starting to show signs of Alzheimer's. And so his aunt is sitting in the living room watching um, pre-recorded stories of, of her stories. Sorry, she's watching the young and the restless. Girl, I can hear the music now, oh Lord. <laughs> His auntie is watching her story, so he knows not to bo bother her, but he goes into the kitchen and takes out a TV dinner and gets it in the, um, pops it in the microwave. He set, goes ahead and set the timer and warms up a microwave dinner for his aunt. He goes into bed, he loads into the computer, and he starts typing in the name of Lamont and Kendra. He comes across some information about Lamont's background. Now, Lamont had had um, uh, one or two arrests, DUIs. And so this is what Byron is doing. He's snooping around on his laptop and he's like, hmm. And he also finds them on social media. And that's when he finds Kendra's Facebook page. And he looks at her and he sends her a friend's request. Shoot over to um, Kendra, she's laying in bed, you know, her husband is in the office again, and she gets a notification on her phone. She looks down and she sees that it's a French request from Byron. And she sees the picture and she's like, hmm. She's like, this odd. I wonder if he sent Lamont one too. So she accepted it, right? Went ahead and accepted it. 
switch over to Byron. He's at home and he sees that she already accepted it. So he continues, you guys, on his computer looking up any information on Lamont or Kendra and he's starting to find some information on Lamont and his previous, um, and his previous job. He was actually laid off his job um because he just was not doing well he was you know with between the gambling and drinking it wasn't you know it wasn't doing well and so he's looking back looking at the screen and it fades to dark all right you guys that's part two